Hello, everyone. Just a quick check. Can you hear us? If you can hear us, could you just send a quick message in the, in the chat? It's good. Yeah, all good. Do we got okay, any cool. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Well, we'll see. All good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Welcome everyone to this uh, to this webinar. We're so glad to have you here. Uh, so let's take a look together inside fintech, and uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about the opportunities we have here at Agigap. Uh, I'm Chloe. I'm an international talent acquisition manager here at Agigap. Maybe you guys can also introduce yourself. Very quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Hugo. Uh, I'm here. I work at Agicap as an SDR. Um, do you want me just to go more in detail? So mm, no, I think we'll go more in detail yeah, later. Sure. So, um, hey guys, also from my side, I am Leah and I am working in the onboarding team, um, which is part of the customer success team for Germany. Cool, great. Um, so just a quick introduction for this webinar. Um, basically, we will first do the whole webinar. There is a live chat going on uh, that you can all have access to. We will take the time at the end of this webinar to answer as many questions as we can, but let's try to keep it uh, within the time. Um, just to start off, I just want to give you a brief introduction to let you know a little bit more about who we are and, uh, and yeah, discover a bit more about Agicap. Uh, first with a few key numbers. Um, so Agicap was founded in 2016 in Lyon in France, uh, where our HQ still is today. And in the past five years, we've had three rounds of fundraising amounting to a total of 100 million euros. Um, in terms of people, well, we started in 2016 with basically just three co-founders in a small apartment in Lyon. Uh, we grew quite fast. Um, as of today, we're now more than 500 people and we are present in six countries and six different markets. Um, when I personally joined Agicap nine months ago, we were 150, so you can already see the quick growth in just the, the span of these, uh, these nine months. Um, today, uh, we have people from all over the world joining this webinar uh, to discover the opportunities that we have in Lyon, but also in Paris, in Berlin, in uh, in Barcelona, in Milan, in Amsterdam, and just as recent in London. Um, so yeah, th just a brief introduction. Each and every Agicapian in all of these offices has a huge impact uh, on our co company's success and people are super important for us. Um, it's really important for that reason for us to make Agicap a great place to work for sure. And we're committed to building a company where people can grow by creating an environment where they can and they're excited to come to work every single day and they're excited to do what they're, they're good at and they're building careers on it. Um, in counterpart, what we're looking for is top talents everywhere in the world uh, who share our values, who, which are basically four, four main values of reaching for excellence, having an impact, thriving together and being humble. Those are our four core values that we can really feel um, as joiners of Agigap. Our ambition is to continue to scale all over, all across Europe to become a European leader. Uh, for that, we're, I mean, we've just opened the UK market uh, just over a month ago and probably a lot, a lot more to come very soon. Um, our mission as a company, uh, now that we've talked a bit more about, about the people, our mission as a global company is to help European CEOs and CFOs to have a better handle on their cash flow uh, so they can basically better manage their business on a daily basis. To do that, we rethink the way businesses manage one of their biggest pain points, which is cash flow, just like I just mentioned. And we offer a solution that helps them on a daily basis centralize all their financial data on one platform, one dashboard, uh, which is much smoother than an Excel file, <laughs> much easier to use. Um, and through that, they can basically monitor changes in real time um, and make more reliable forecasts for the future. Um, we've been rapidly expanding through Europe with now more than 500 customers across our, our six markets. Um, and our goal is to reach 10,000 clients by the end of this year. A uh, huge go goal, but achievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but for sure, for that, we need more people on board. So of course, we're hiring a lot. Uh, the target for this year is to reach more than 1,000 employees by the end of the year. 
So we're recruiting more than 500 new talents this year across all of our departments. Uh, that's including the core business, uh, sales, customer success, um, but also strategy, revenue. We have roles in finance, in even more operations like talent acquisition, uh, HR, uh, and also without forgetting our product and tech teams. Um, so that just to give you a, a global overview. Um, we have here today Leah, who's, uh, who's from the customer success department, and Hugo from sales, who will tell you a little bit more about, uh, yeah, about, about their role as well, and I'll try to give you a, an overview of, of, of every, every other department that we can have. Um, Hugo, if you want to start, maybe what's your background and what do you do here in Agicap? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, that was a fantastic introduction. Thank you very much. Um, I work in the sales floor as an SDR, so which means um, sales development representative. Uh, my background before Agicap, it's pretty basic. Um, I got a bachelor with honors from a business school. Um, I've been living abroad for a couple of times. I uh, got sales and marketing um, experience, but nothing really serious until Agicap. Um, then my mission within the group in Agicap is very simple. Um, I, I identify opportunities and I qualify them. So somehow I am a hunter. Um, and I uh, just like, as I say, like target like the right people for what we do uh, in Agicap. So once I reach them out, um, I gather the information I need um, to then send them on the next step, which is uh, I work with my uh, account executive buddy, which is in charge of doing like the demonstration um, tool process. Uh, once I qualify this prospect, I send him over to him and then he will be in charge of like the demonstration, as I say, and then the closing process. Mm -hmm. Um, in order to do so, I need to gather like three main key points um, to be sure that we have like a high, high rate of closing for our deals, which is um, the decision maker in the loop, which usually for what we do uh, will be uh, the CEO, the CFO, uh, people that are going to be in charge and take the decision at the end of the process, mm -hmm. um, a high pain score uh, and hence a big return on investment uh, for them to uh, jump onto Agicap. And then timing and priorities of the company to be sure this is what they need to do now and this is the right timing for them to move on to a new, a new tool in the company. I'll just, just one second, just to explain maybe what pain means for us because not everyone would sure, know sure. necessarily what that is. I, I was expecting business. you to ask for it. Um, <laughs> what is a pain? It would be like, you know, as you mentioned it earlier, um, Agicap is more flexible than an Excel sheet. So yeah. sometimes just to fill up and populate like your Excel sheet, and gathering uh, all the data you need like from one software from your other ba bank account can take a long time mm. and usually it's not going to be like sure 100% mm. and many companies need like to take decision based on like real data and uh, and very accurate you know so that's when i mean like pain uh, would be like either just to um, do your usual uh, monthly update for your forecast mm. not, i'm not going to get straight away into the details it can take <laughs> to a company like sometimes i don't know 20 hours a, a week that's a lot of time mm. for a company that need to take fast decision. Yeah. So with Agicap, we help them in order just to yeah. take faster decision. Yeah, so basically a pain point is, is a, is a spe specific difficulty that the company is having um, on a certain matter, basically. Correct. And um, just, just to finish, then um, when we close the deal with my uh, account executive buddy, we send them over to, uh, to Leah in uh, the customer success department. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe a little bit more about my background. I studied law in the first place and then international management. Just as Hugo, I lived a little bit abroad in, in France, in Spain and also a little bit in the UK. And yeah, then I decided to, to join Agicap. So I've been working here for seven months already. Um, and what exactly are we doing in onboarding? Um, we jump in when the sales process is over and our objective um, is mainly to, um, to have the client um, to get used to the tool, to set everything up with him, um, to advise him um, also um, on a financial basis, of course. Um, and the, really the, the main objective is uh, that the client becomes independent. Um, on the tool. But this is not the only department within CS. We also have, for example, the key um, account management, um, which is responsible for more bigger clients. Then we have the customer care, um, which is looking for the, the chat. Um, and also recently CS Tech, which is doing like more background tasks. Mm. Okay, cool. I think it'd be really um, interesting for the people here to also find out a bit more like what, what got, you, got you guys interested in Agicap and why did you choose to join? Um, yeah, sure. Um, 
so how did I found EduCap, if this is the yeah. question like, yeah. you wanted to ask me? <laughs> um, I just went back from overseas back then and I was in a downtime of my life where um, I was on the lookout for like a new ambitious project. Uh, I wanted something that, uh, well, I didn't want it to be in a routine and I wanted to be part of like a thrilling project where uh, I could be part of uh, a project where people had high ambitions. Mm. And, um, and that's what I found like uh, in Agicap when I read the first day, like uh, the job offer, I was like, well, this is for me and this is what I want to be part of. Um, so this is how I found it basically on LinkedIn. <laughs> and, and that's what like literally like charmed me. It was like what the company is expecting and what I can do in the company. Mm. That's why I decided just to, to jump into the opportunity. Cool. Great reason. <laughs> what okay. about you? Yeah, so for me it was more like a coincidence. So I, I stumbled over Ashikap um, through a recruitment platform which is called Welcome to the Jungle. So maybe we can put the, the link in the, in the chat mm. so we can uh, check it out directly. Um, yeah, and they, they had a cooperation with my business school. Um, yeah, and as I'm coming like more from a corporate environment, um, I wanted to see something else. I really wanted to try out um, something different. Um, and I also really, really liked the product. I, I thought it had great potential. I, I still think it has, mm. um, especially yeah, after, after joining Agicap and seeing um, how efficiently yeah. the, the team works. Yeah, cool, great. And, and when, you, when you made this decision to join Agicap and so came the day that you finally arrived, how did you experience your, your onboarding on both sides? To me, it was perfect since day <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly <laughs> where I was stepping in, but um, it didn't mean that uh, I wouldn't be ready to do so. So yeah. um, EduCap is an ever-evolving and fast-paced environment where um, you have to learn quick and fast um, and you have to get familiar since day one with a lot of new processes. But don't worry, um, <laughs> you have all the, the amazing support and all the human resources that's going to help you during like all your unbonding process. Um, that was, to me, like... Um, my experience when I got here mm. um, and to me like this best memory was so far like uh, the staffing support since day one until like you get completely like ramp up mm -mm. Um, I never like felt alone mm -mm. okay cool cool what yeah, about so, yes. <laughs> so for me it was basically the same um, you really um, see that it gets more and more international so you come here at the office um, there are people arriving from all different uh, kind of countries um, you hear a lot of languages spoken um, um, you meet people, uh, you share uh, so many skills with them and yeah, so that's, that's cool. Um, and I was also surprised by how well organized it was. Okay. So I, I was really impressed by that because I did not experience that before. Okay. Um, and yeah, just as Hugo said, they literally throw you uh, into everyday business. Um, but on the on the other hand, um, you never feel you never feel left alone mm. because there's always someone there. You have a coach, you have a buddy, um, yeah. always someone looking for you. Yeah, mm. just so that, that's about, nice. Oh, so yeah. I wanted to talk about something. There's like this big like team spirit in the group that yeah. we can't lift someone over. Like uh, we succeed as a group, but mm. if someone one of us fail, like somehow is the whole group like you know failing, and yeah. that's something that you can feel since day one, mm. that it's mm. very good that, you know, as a new newcomer in the group. Yeah, yeah. That's something that was said to me also in my, in my first, uh, first days, I think it was by, by one of the co-founders uh, who came to me and said, well, it's, it's either we're g all going to succeed together and make this happen together, or this boat is going to drown and we're all going to drown <laughs> together. Yeah. And I really liked that team spirit. It was really a 100%. show of, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah it's definitely yeah. right. Mm -hmm. um, cool. J just, just on the onboarding part, uh, for for everyone to know, we also have a like a quite a structured global organ, um, onboarding process that we have. Um, so basically, generally, all new joiners come to Lyon for the for the first onboarding, usually the first the first few weeks, if COVID allows it. <laughs> the past few years, um, but it really helps build a strong connection between all countries, um, and from there on, you you already have a really really strong bonds with with other people on on your team. Um, and we also have, and that's, that's a really key point, is that for us, again, same as I said in the introduction, people are super important. We have a whole team dedicated, um, amazing people partners who are dedicated to onboarding uh, new people who take care of pre-onboarding, get in touch with people two weeks mm -hmm. before they arrive to organize everything and make sure that everything runs smoothly and who, who organize, who are here on the day of the onboarding and, uh, and it's, uh, it, it always runs usually super smoothly. <laughs> um, cool. Um, what would be, if, if you had to, to describe
describe your AGCAP experience in just a few words, what would you say? That's too short. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if it would be like a few words, like I would say it would be like t teamwork, commitment, excellency, but by excellency, I don't mean like being good straight away from day one. It's just more about being excellent in the way that you get the most out of all your failures because mm -hmm. you know that you're going to do failures. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you will always at this little extra 1% on a mm -hmm. daily basis that um, faster than you would expect will turn you somehow like a very good professional and a very good uh, team member in the company. Mm -hmm. But so far for me, my best memory, I would say that it would be the months that when friends, uh, sales like went above the target. I remember that day, like Clément Monguet uh, gathered us like in the account executive room and uh, he was refreshing like you know the dashboard and I remember <laughs> like when we got like the results everyone like started cheering up and it was a fantastic <laughs> feeling you know just to yeah. be um, part of this group uh, of achieve this as a team mm -hmm. and on my end was like not one of my best months but straight away my feeling was like I felt like you know happy to be to bring this contribution mm -hmm. but I wanted more I was like the next time this will happen I want to be even be, bring like a bigger, yeah. bigger contribution to this. <laughs> yeah. That was my best memory so far. Cool, great. And actually, that that, that brings me to another question. I think is quite, quite, uh, quite um, interesting. W what kind of celebration rituals do you have together in the team? Uh, that that's very <laughs> particular to us. Uh, but that's a very yeah. good question, actually. Well, every time um, we start working with a new customer, uh, there's a bell mm -hmm. that's hanging onto the wall, and we come and we just like smash the bell. <laughs> So that's what everyone is craving for somehow is like the day you smash the bell, like this like a little like pride Success. time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. We copied that. In really? the really? Yeah, yeah, we have one now. Oh cool. Oh you do this yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Come on, we, find your own way. Like, this belongs to us. <laughs> <laughs> but it works actually. Yeah. Cool. It's a good motivation. <laughs> That's so great. And, and what about you? Yeah, so um, if I could pick one word to describe Agicap for me, it would be focused. Like because we have that high ambition, we have that goal and we are all working very hard to achieve it. Um, and there are so many ambitious and, and skilled people here. Um, I feel like it's, it's very inspiring um, mm -hmm. to, to work with those people. Um, and also the notion of time. It, time is going by so quickly, like yeah. one day is not like the other. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, that's also something that, that I appreciate a lot. Mm. I completely agree on that notion of time. It's like, it's so weird because it feels like you've been here for so little time, but at the same time so long. It's like mm. a different time-space continuum. 100%. It's so yeah. Weird. Yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> I think we all experience it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, great. And okay, l let's maybe move on to, to something a, a little bit uh, similar, but, uh, but uh, also quite, quite important. You all work in, in different teams, obviously. In, in your in your respective teams, what makes you like? What makes you feel like you? What makes you feel most proud? What are you most proud of in your teams? I would say um, commitment again, and how relentless the team is. Um, to what extent the team will always find out like new way to collect relevant insight from. Um, new targets that we thought six months ago that we couldn't like deal with, but mm -hmm. by doing that way, you know, it was like pushing further the limit. Uh, we challenge our product, we challenge what we can do, and this is how we make things move on, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what like make me like very proud of them and us as a team is like we all like push the limit forward uh, without necessarily having someone to ask us to do so. But we always want to be able just to work with bigger and bigger companies mm -hmm. um, and to see as well like. As you say, like I've been here like for six months, and to see all the growth of every yeah. individuals and how much we we have changed uh, within this amount of time, like it's completely crazy. So That's surprising. what makes me proud. <laughs> cool. And how do you contribute to the to the growth of those people? Do you? Well, it's interacting with them, sharing tips. Uh, you know, it's basically you know communication. That's the key mm. of everything. Like uh, if one of the team is starting, like of the mm. team members start being s successful. Uh, it's important for him just to share with the group because as I said if one is getting good mm -hmm. and the other don't mm -hmm. That means that we're all losing everyone needs to be on top So yeah. this is how we make it happen like you know always like sharing tips information mm. and we will all together become better and better Yeah, I think you have the same the same kind of mindset. Also yeah, in yeah, we have the same kind of mindset yeah. and I am actually fascinated by the fact that um, everyone is so different everyone has different character traits um, but nevertheless like 
each and everyone finds his role in mm -hmm. Ashi Cup and each and everyone is like accepted as he or she is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if I can think of an experience um, in particular, I would say I'm proud of um, how quickly we, we grew the German team. So mm -hmm. we doubled in size in a few months and it was kind of hard to, um, to um, yeah, run um, daily business and at the same time assure the same quality of um, of the training for the newcomers. So this is something I'm very proud of. Yeah, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. And you should be. <laughs> um, and that's actually a link to, to the next question because you just talked about the fact that you, you, you do work with the German team. Yeah. What, what, for, what for you and in, in your respective roles is the added value of, of Agicap's international presence? Mm. Well, the, the, the added value is like, is since very young, I always wanted, I mean, as I told you, I, I've been living abroad, so for me, it was something I always got for granted that I wanted to work in an um, international environment. But mm. on top of that, on my end, with what I do here as my mission in EDUCAP, it's always super interesting to see how other country departments interact, like, you know, uh, within the group and within the prospect on the phone. Mm. You learn that what is granted for here in France is not necessarily the same in another country. Um, and just by doing this, somehow you're opening yourself the door of like one day probably uh, to be able like who knows to work mm. um, in Italy or in Germany mm -hmm. just by you know study them somehow. So that's for me. You're always like you know in a winning position because you're learning every day yeah. by being in this multicultural yeah. environment. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. In this sense, I, I would like to add something um, about the the story of of Agicap. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I'm. Um, Agicap is founded in Lyon, so mm. that's like more a, a traditional French city. Mm. Uh, and yeah, before, before our appearance here, um, it was more like Paris um, mm. being considered True. an international True, city. Yeah. And I feel like this is changing. Um, and it's also like Im impressive to see um, by, by the presence of one single company that mm. the whole image of the city changes. True. So um, yeah, and, and also I, I feel like we are learning a lot internally. Um, by being present on so many markets because mm -hmm. like you you apply one principle in one market um, you see if it works then you try it out on a different market and mm -hmm. yeah like this you progress together mm -hmm. yeah okay and and how do you inside Agicap when you when you've actually joined how do you stay in touch with the other people doing the same job as you in the other countries do you stay in touch with them so for me, yeah, it's mandatory. Yeah. Course, because, um, <laughs> actually, yeah, um, so to give a little bit more explanation, um, I am based here in, in Lyon, but I'm working with a German team. Mm. Um, so we call each other nearly every day. I'm yeah. going to Berlin, for example, next week to see them. Cool. Yeah. Great. Well, I think on my end, it's like, obviously, like, you know, lower frequency than what you do, mm. but like, I try to keep in, in touch, like, uh, yeah, Slack channel, you know, with mm. like the people from the different bureau. Uh, one what is time. Slack? So Slack is know. our uh, <laughs> internal platform to communicate, <laughs> share tips, information, and stay like on the edge of anything that's going to happen in, in the company. I think that was a pretty good definition. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah, good definition. <laughs> and um, so yeah, we always like you know Slack each other, you know, to know what's going on for you, like how do you feel at the moment. Like one more time, you know, just to share tips and communicate mm -hmm. um, to keep every, everyone on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, it, I think it's in the care team that they open a, uh, a Google Meet as well. Yeah, where they, yeah, where yeah they, they have all a room. They yeah. have a Google Meet room where they all uh, join, yeah. Yeah, internationally, they just spend the day together on a Google Meet so that if they have any issues or any sh tips to share, they, they all yeah. share it. Mm -hmm. I think that's super cool. <laughs> um, cool. And Again, in a, in a few words, if you, if you had to describe for yourself what is the, the Agicap mindset and the culture that you experience, what would you say? Um, for me, I, I, well, mindset here means a lot. And um, as we like to grow a collaborative and success-oriented orient mindset, um, and as well, we're a very team player, um, it means that um, the people that you're going to interact with uh, must rely on your work because whatever you do is going to involve someone else in the next steps mm. and you can't waste someone else's time. So I would say that for me, um, for example, I'm taking the example of my relationship with my A buddy, like he's expecting me like to just to send him like good quality mm. uh, prospect, right? Yeah. Uh, so for me, the mindset would be like being responsible and reliable mm. uh, as a professional with what you do, somehow proactive. Yeah. Okay, cool. What yeah, so, so for me, like being part of Agicap really means um, 
yeah, challenging myself every day, stepping out of that comfort zone, because if you sure. do not step out of your comfort zone, then you don't see any progress, yeah, or, sure. or at least a lot slower. And this is also what is expected from us, just as you, do, as you say, Hugo. So it's not about giving 100%, it's giving about 110, 120%. Yeah. And yeah, for me, like excellence, um, it also means that um, you have the right attitude, so that you are proactive. Um, mm -hmm. And I think um, if you wa really want to have an impact, um, then Agicap is, is the right company for you. Yeah, true. Sure. And the right attitude as well is like mm -hmm. always like don't wait to be like in a tricky position or mm -hmm. like when you're gonna put yourself at stake. Just like move ahead prior the situation and start like, you know, asking for help. Mm -hmm. uh, there is not a single person in this company that's never going to accept to help you. Mm. Yeah, that's not definitely. possible. Yeah, mm. that's um, true. Mm. And you don't need to wait, as I say, to be like in a, in a bad position just to ha ask for help. Like if you feel that something is not going your way and it's not something that it should be, just go straight up like to someone and someone's going to help you straight away. Mm. I completely agree on that aspect. I mean, Everyone, at least everyone I, I've, I've had the chance to talk to in this company is always super available mm -hmm. um, and will drop almost everything <laughs> to be able to, have to, to, to help you and, and communicate with you. I guess if I, if I can also give my, my view, um, I think it's super important that you, that you spoke about impact. The two, the two things that I would use to describe Agicap, at least my personal experience, is team, teamwork, mm. which is really important. Uh, we don't get anywhere without it. And impact, like from day one, almost everyone in this company has an impact from day one. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, I personally in my job see it every single day because I, I, I recruit in, in, in several countries and I work with the people that I recruited on a daily basis so I can, I can actually see their impact and their value as well that, that, they, that they create and it's, it's so amazing. And I don't think that you can have that in like a, a big group or corporate. Exactly, yeah, that's companies. also what makes yeah. a difference in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Exactly, um, yeah. <laughs> um, and in, in, your, in your different departments, in your, in your jobs, what, what are the possible evolutions that you can see? I think I got plenty of it, <laughs> uh, even more because EdgeCap is like constantly like moving, uh, evolving. Yeah. Um, on my on my department, uh, I can move like as a team lead, as an SDR, or just start like as well hunting like key accounts, mm -hmm. uh, like bigger companies. Like just to explain what is a key account would be um, above mid market companies, like mm -hmm. you know that generate like more above like the hundred millions uh, euros to turnover. Um, you need to have like a certain experience to be able like you know to, to deal with this kind of prospect because mm. like the challenges are completely different so that's something that not everyone can do um, otherwise uh, I can move on as an account executive mm. um, and I think either like in France or somewhere somewhere else like in Spain because I speak Spanish so you know you have uh, like plenty of opportunities like mm. it's up to yeah. you depending yeah. on what you want to do and yeah. what the opportunity you give to yourself mm -mm. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if we, we talk about career opportunities in general, I think the most obvious would be um, to switch departments. But then there are also plenty of opportunities within sure. your department. Yeah. Um, so Absolutely. you can, for example, take over more responsibility, coach newcomers, mm -hmm. um, develop a certain expertise, so just as you say, for mm -hmm. key accounts, for example. Um, yeah, sometimes in customer success, we have people that switch to key account. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, um, as we launch new markets, just um, as in the United Kingdom, mm. um, you could do something there. Yeah. You could support them and we still have a lot of open positions there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you think that with, without like, like having an, an official job title change or things like that, you still evolve on a daily basis in, in your job, in your, in, your, in your daily role? As in learn new things every day? Yes, I would yeah. say definitely, yeah. Esp especially, um, yeah, as, as I said, we doubled in size, so yeah. that there were a lot of um, newcomers and, and everyone had to take care of them. Yeah. So, yeah, so. You, you really have to, to work with them. Um, I learned um, a lot in terms of, of management, I would say. Mm. Um, cool. And on my end, like, um, because of the job I do, um, I can't get for granted what I know, like it's always changing and I'm always like you know, interacting with like different uh, business environment, different personas, mm. so I'm always learning, it will never stop, like if you start yeah. getting something for granted, like that means that there's yeah. something wrong, like so you always have to remain humble about that and yeah. 
learn and yeah. learn and learn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Since you're I agree. every day learning from basically our clients also. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and true. And that's actually the fantastic part of this job. Like it's mm -hmm. you don't you don't like live in the pro on my end, don't live like in a proper routine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day is something new that you're gonna have to <laughs> yeah. deal with. Uh, and that's like pretty yeah, exciting, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, j just maybe to give, I mean, I, I can think of a lot of examples of, of people who grew in this company. Uh, a lot of really exciting ones. I mean, we have Cyprien in the, in the talent acquisition team who started um, in, in with, with the tech and product teams and then became an AE and, and moved to talent acquisition just a few months ago yeah, and is doing crazy. so great. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. Three different evolutions and I think that was in the span of less than a year. It's like... It's in so no time, crazy. basically. Exactly, yeah. exactly. We have Jules in the in the CS ops department that was in sales before. Mm. True. I mean, so many people move around, um, and people that have been here for less than six months, maybe yeah. sometimes also. You don't have that in a traditional company. No, no exactly. Like, things here happen like very, very fast, mm. uh, even faster than what you would expect. Because mm. uh, you're like, oh, you know, uh, I'll think about it like within a year. Yeah. But then, like in four months, you start hearing things, and you're like, yeah. "What is going so <laughs> fast?" <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly never expected it before I actually saw it with my own eyes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, cool, and yeah, I guess uh, one of the one of the last questions, important one. Why do you think that this is a good place for young graduates? Yeah, so um, if, if I can start, um, I, sure. I would say um, it's um, it allows you to, to build really something from scratch. So this is this is cool. If you just finish sure. your studies, mm -hmm. um, you want to do something else, uh, you want to be part of an adventure, um, and this really allows you to yeah to to take part in that. Um, also, if you have your own ideas, um, you you can always tell us about that. Um, you will be here, so that there's no problem at all. There are no like I would say in the traditional company it takes three or four years at least um, mm. to get a promotion um, mm. so everything yeah, is like sure. very fixed um, here it's not the case and also um, if you don't have any work experience that's another point and it mm. can be tricky sometimes to to get something and mm. um, yeah so here we offer permanent contracts for example mm. even if you just graduated it so mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, I agree with her, and uh, I would say as well that on top of the dynamic vibe and the opportunities, like this is a place where you can feel good, even if you're like freshman, freshly graduated, like uh, you can learn from scratch. Um, you're gonna be recognized by your peers. Mm. Uh, you're gonna be taught from 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 beginning, and and you have like a lot of opportunities ahead. Um, and on top of that, like as I said, like this is a company where you can feel good, you can settle in. Mm. Um, you can you can like navigate every day with like mm. fantastic people that is a, as a curious as you are. Yeah. Um, I would recommend like a hundred percent this company more than like let's say like a usual company yeah. because as you say like um, I take my for example my case I didn't feel like I wanted to be like in a company where I would have to wait like two or three mm. four years to be able just to move on to the next step exactly. um, and wait uh, like as well like six nine months in order to to take responsibilities. Mm. Uh, like today I'm dealing every day with like C management yeah. and you know, talking about like serious things about like a daily, daily challenges. Quick question, what is C management? I think C not everyone will know. <laughs> <laughs> well, C management is like, if there's a pyramid like of, uh, let's say a, a company, C management would be like the people that they are on the top and they are the one that take all the decision. So whatever they say, the people like you know follow up like yeah. according to what they say. So yeah. it's the decision maker, yeah. the one we were talking in the beginning yeah. of the <laughs> of the webinar. So that's something that is there is not like many companies that you could like mm. you know yeah. deal with like people of that importance. Mm. And that's something like crazy when you yeah. think about it. Like we were like solving real issues on a daily basis with like people that probably have like twenty years experience and like um, top business school graduated. Like mm -hmm. you know, and that's. That's yeah, why, like, sure. you know, when we talk about having an impact, this is yeah, exactly. it all come down to this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think another important point is that we we will also take the take the time to train, and we really invest in your, in young graduates. Yeah, uh, I think that's something True. that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. um, it's super important. Um, that was the, the last question that we that we had planned for this. Maybe just to, to conclude, I just want to remind that I mean we've talked a lot about the CS department, the sales departments. Just, just to, just for a short conclusion, I just want to remind everyone that we are recruiting in almost all of our departments, young graduates today. Uh, there's space for 
almost everyone, I would say, uh, <laughs> in, in yeah, CS, sales, but also finance, strategy, uh, operations. Um, it's really, really, really large PAM. Um, yeah, if you, we're, we're going to move on to the questions very soon. Um, but maybe just just if you if you want to to yeah reach out to us uh, or apply, you can do so in two different ways. Either you have a specific idea of what you want to do, and you can directly go on agicap.com, look at our career page, um, and apply directly to a specific position on on there, and we'll reach out to you. If you if you're not sure what you want to do, um, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'm very happy to to take a, to to have a call with you, uh, have a chat uh, for ten minutes, and just try to figure out where you could fit best and what could what could be the best for you. Um, yeah. Um, they now, can message yeah. us as well. Yeah, of yeah, course. Like, I would be delighted just to answer yeah. your question. If you guys need to ask me anything, just to do like a quick uh, a quick call whatsoever, like um, you can reach me out on LinkedIn. Mm. I'll be delighted just to answer your question and somehow like to motivate you just to jump on board with yeah, us. Yeah, same, <laughs> same for me. So if you have any questions related to CS or anything else, then don't hesitate. Yeah, cool. Uh, so we'll, no, we'll now take questions, um, um, if anyone, uh, so we have one question here. How can we contact you to know in details about a job position or about Agicap? So I guess I, I, just, I, just, I, just, re I just replied <laughs> to that, yeah, reach out to, well, to, to me or any of the TAs uh, from, from Agicap or, or to, to Hugo and Leah. I think it would be Leah. interesting to, um, to reach someone like from the proper department as well. Yeah, you know? if you have yeah. questions on, on, on the exact position, yeah, you can reach out directly to someone in the department. As we, as we said earlier, I mean, everyone's super available and we'll be very happy to, to answer you. And we are very cool as well. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, what is the distribution of the tech and non-tech teams? So unfortunately, we don't have any tech team here. <laughs> yeah. um, so maybe I would say re reach out to me on LinkedIn for that question and I'm, I'm happy to, to answer you um, on, a, on a separate, separate conversation. Um, in terms of questions. Any other questions? We'll just maybe wait for, for a few minutes. Yeah. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to add in the meantime well, to conclude a little bit this whole this whole conversation? <laughs> no, I think we say pretty much everything. But like, uh, of I think as well, like um, if there is any question like we didn't answer or we didn't we haven't been like clear enough, uh, as we mentioned earlier, like uh, you can always like reach mm -hmm. us out. Uh, we're always available. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean for me, I don't know. Yeah, about yeah, you, of, though, course. Like, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. of course, of um, course. And I think, yeah, we've been like pretty clear on everything. And that's mm -hmm. like, you want like to double check on, on one of my answers. <laughs> <laughs> no, all good, I think. Uh, can I hear what will be the detailed onboarding process as an employee? Um, so to maybe, maybe I, ca I can take that one to give the, the, the view of a general onboarding. Um, I guess, I mean, we, we do have a general onboarding process uh, that will be, that everyone who joins Agicap will go through um, in the first two mornings, which usually would be on a Monday and a Tuesday. You basically would have a general onboarding going through culture, values, you will get to meet the co-founders, meet, meet uh, team leads from different teams who will explain to you the different departments to understand the structure of Agicap. Uh, you'll get to experience the product, um, all, all sorts of general trainings like this. Um, and in the afternoons and in the, in the days after that, you go in your specific teams and in each specific team, you will have basically an onboarding plan ready for you. Uh, it will be completely different for a CS team member than a sales team member. You're going to have a buddy and as well. Yeah. And the coach, yeah. Yeah, yeah and personal buddy yeah, to yeah. just like support you all the way up. Yeah. Uh, in the good and in the bad times. Mm. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all throughout. Um, how does the recruiting process look like? Again, it would really vary depending on the department. Um, I guess there would, there, there would always be a first screening call with, with the talent acquisition manager, uh, whether it be me or, or anyone else on the team. Um, and then dep depending on the role, it can, it can, be, it can look really different. Um, in CS, you will have some technical, st more, more technical aspects to the, to, the, um, to the interview process, I guess. Yes. Yes. In sales, uh, you, you, you would have an interview with, with other people from the sales department and, and the business case to prepare. The um, interview always helps. Yeah. yeah like you have kind of kind yeah, of simulations yeah, exactly. also. Mm -mm. 
Okay. If it's more if it's more finance or operations, again, it's a different process. So I won't go through all of them, but there's a specific process put in place where you will meet uh, around around three or four people throughout the throughout the process of recruitment um, for 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 whether, whichever department it's for. Um, we have another uh, question, which would be more for you, Hugo. Uh, could you describe a typical day? What would be a sort of routine for a salesperson in Agicap? So, well, they're all different first, so yeah. I don't want to say like it's a routine, but like typical day for me, if there's one, um, would be to open up my laptop um, mm -hmm. and start like uh, looking what are my today's tasks uh, according to my calendar and um, well, like, you know, in terms of like a sales cycle, uh, mm -hmm. which prospect I should talk, uh, call now mm -hmm. and for what reason and, you know, always like um, double check the information you got on him um, or her. Um, that would be like what I do most of the day and like otherwise I spend a lot of time hunting. Mm -hmm. So hunting because um, I like just to find like new opportunities, um, to find like to call them for s certain reason. I call you for this and this. So I spend a lot of time hunting like on on Sales Navigator, mm. uh, we got like plenty of tools that allows us just, you know, um, mm. to find uh, like the best uh, mm. prospects for EduCap. Um, and at the end of the day, we always have our funny sprints. So <laughs> sprints is something proper from EduCap. Yeah. So uh, what is a sprint? Um, so for, for a one hour slot, uh, we're all going to gather, stand up and start calling like, who knows, like different kind of prospect, like um, just like, you know, to dynamic mm -hmm. like you know the group uh, and it's always funny because we are like some um, how can I say like theme and you know like mm. some funny games and there's always like a prize or reward at ah, the end cool. of the week so <laughs> yeah it's just like to make it more fun because sometimes you can have downtime so obviously mm. like, yeah, it's just like to always keep like the very nice vibe that uh, we cultivate every day uh, mm. in the sales department cool amazing that's so great uh, Roberto for the for the second part of your question the, the office in Milan is uh, the office in Italy sorry is in Milan um, any other questions? Maybe let's let's wait for a few. We yeah, could we could maybe yeah. take one last one if someone yeah, sure. else has a has a question. I think for now. Uh, as you serve SME's sector of France, Spain, Germany, will it be a challenge for an English speaker when a role demands customer intelligence? So in, in each country, uh, we usually recruit native or bilingual speakers, mm -hmm. um, at least, at least yeah, unt until now, uh, because we really, I mean, since we target SMBs, and I think you, you both agree with me, we need to be able to speak the same language. I mean, you can speak to a yeah. big group, but you can also be talking to a really small, uh, a, a guy living in, in the middle of the mountains. I don't know. <laughs> True, there are like some yeah. technical terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you need specific exactly. vocabulary. If, if you want to mm. have credit, like when you talk with a professional, mm. like you, you, you can't have like any doubt, mm -hmm. you know, about your yeah. wording. So mm. that's something that you must have for granted before mm -hmm. jumping into this kind of processes. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I don't think it would be a challenge. Like, if you get all of this granted before, mm. like, I mean, then you can do it. Cause yeah. yeah I think way. I think you can you can do it at a good level. So yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. If you if, yeah, if you have a good level of the of the local language, it's fine. So I guess for English speakers would mo mostly be um, for for the UK at the moment mm -hmm. is where we mostly hire English speakers. Um, yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> right. I think we can wrap up here. Um, if anyone was feeling a bit shy of putting questions <laughs> on the chat, uh, again, you can reach out to us. Uh, we'll, we'll answer anything with, with great pleasure. Yeah. Uh, you have in the description of the, of the page on YouTube our 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 LinkedIn direct LinkedIn profile links, as well as my personal e uh, my professional email address, uh, that you can reach out to me on if you would like. And yeah, we'd be we'd be very happy to to 
yeah, to have you join. <laughs> we look forward um, to meet you guys. To see you here, here in the office. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the reason yeah. we're here. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, for listening to us and have a great evening. <laughs> Thank you guys. See you. Thank you guys. See you. See you Bye. Mm -hmm.